Kolegi Pekisi na to mať, že je s ním, ale sa to len často vedí, basta, basta. All of them know they stand out in their scattered outfit for tonight's competition. And I'll be smiling. Skala mu podarí, že ho na to mať, že je s ním, ale sa to len často vedí, basta, basta. All of them know they stand out in their scattered outfit for tonight's competition. And I'll be smiling. Skala mu podarí, že ho na to mať, že je s ním, ale sa to len často vedí, basta, basta. Self-introduction and of course we have got us in the front. Akumbo Akumbisa, a must meet him. A part of our eight contestants. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Berlin portion. Answer the portion. Once you're requesting our eight candidates, so please be here in front. And for you who want to talk to me, you can talk to me about this. Okay, guys, number one.
the dignity of every human person guarantees with full respect for human rights. Therefore, we deserve respect because we are also part of human rights. Thank you and good evening. Congratulations in advance. I really love the answer. So good luck to the rest of the candidates. Now, candidate number two, please give it over. Here's your mom. And Rada Hassan. Your hashtag is... Hashtag Perigo. Rainbow symbolizes LGBTQI plus community where the life of us all LGBTQI plus community member is so colorful. Many people have discriminated, many, many people have this homophobic that that other though LGBT remains and standing in front of you with with respect, love, and peace. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number two, we have Miss Faya Delphine. Oh, of course, simply is the rainbow versus the flag of uh, the ultimate community. Okay, please put over candidate number three. Exactly. Oh, you are not the candidate number one. You are the blue. For a cause. Okay, thank you for a very challenging question. Beauty for a cause. For a cause. When we see beauty, and we have two kinds of beauty, which is the inner beauty and outer beauty. When we see beauty, beauty. Beauty for a cause. It is not the same thing. Rather, it is the moral sense of being able to distinguish one's right from one's wrong. Thank you so much. Oh, congratulations, candidate number three. We have Kiara Olason. Thank you so much for that answer. Of course, you know, we have different opinions. So, what's up with that? Now, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, candidate number four. The favorite of the crowd wearing red. Sweet, yeah. Okay, move forward. Your hashtag is being open minded. <laughs> Once again, hashtag being open minded. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hashtag open minded. You know, ladies and gentlemen, everyone, we didn't say to everyone that we have an open minded. a lot throughout my life. Always learning a little more about myself 
and the world around me. The humiliation, the discrimination, and the oppression of people towards me were bludgeoning and sometimes very interesting. But I always believed in myself enough to get me through the hard times. You know what? The things that has never been changed and you have come to know no map and sir, after all the challenges and changes in my life is that I never once doubted myself that I was born a special. If God is perfect and no mistake, then why he created me this way? A question that only our supreme being could answer. And I believe also, ladies and gentlemen, that we stop discrimination. But instead, let's always spread love and respect to one another. Because we are all created by God equally. We are all created by God in His own image. So let us treat ourselves as brothers and sisters. And I believe also that we, the members of the LGBT community, are created by God. Not only seek to be accepted to be superior, but near his arm and under his arms to be loved and protected. So let us all love, respect, and care the members of the LGBT community because whether you like it or not, we will exist. And whether you like it or not, we the members of the LGBT community are the greatest hope for changing the face of our developing world. That would all and once again, good evening. You have to be the number six. I'll be getting the number six. Here's your uh, microphone and grab your hat stand. You don't have to say what it But I'm going to get up with the number of 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 the number Your hashtag is hashtag acceptance. Again, hashtag acceptance. Para na ako na acceptance is para na ako by the way to me na actually accept the insta kaya kaya mga tao na wag wag na wag na hina mo mga pahintiri kaya maulat na kana is kana tao kana isila ka accept na mo sa among Kung kung sabi, yun lang ang buong parang salamat. Alright, candidate number 6, we have Ms. Venus Kuro. Okay. Congratulations, Ms. Marla Rivera. Alright, here's the microphone. Grab it. Your hashtag is love is love. Love is love. Can you read once again? Yes. Hashtag love is love. Me as a transgender woman, aiming for a genuine love, and thank God you gave me someone who loved me genuinely. I have partner. We are going five years now, and it's just a testament that. Love conquers everything. No matter, no matter what gender you are, what sex preference you are, what's important is that we love each other and we conquer the world with our love. And I thank you. Congratulations, candidate number seven, Miss Julia Paneto. Okay, now we're back to the last candidate. Our three leads on the Your hashtag is hashtag transformation. Okay, so my hashtag, ladies and gentlemen, is trans transformation. We cannot deny the fact that we live now in a modern world where technology is now very rampant and very much important in our society. I believe that this we transform from um, 
from a real man to a real from a real man to a look like a woman. We cannot deny the fact, ladies and gentlemen, that we LGBT QIA plus members discounter discrimination most of the time because some people think that we is gonna do some things that normal people can do. And I standing here just to prove to everyone that we exist and we can do as much as girls and boys. Thank you.